hey guys welcome to or back to my channel my name is gemini tarot thank you guys so much for showing support on this channel sorry that i don't have my usual introduction i completely forgot to film it so we have this there are three piles in front of you guys if you came from tiktok then obviously you don't have to watch this part but if you are here you want to make sure you're connecting with your body your mind and your spirit so you want to take three deep breaths so that you can connect and from there, you can choose based on your intuition by either repeating a number in your head, allowing your eyes to guide you. Whatever feels right intuitively for you is what you should be doing. I'll see you guys in the pile selection. I really hope you guys find the reading that's meant for you. Bye. Hello, pile number one. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this channel. So today we're going to be seeing what the T is. So this could have to do with you. This could have to do with other people. I don't know. The cards will tell us. So let's just start shuffling and see what messages decide to come out. What is the T on pile number one? Or just the T surrounding pile number one. So the first card here is main male. You could be this main male or it could be someone else. Wealthy man coming out too. Oh, occupation is coming out. So there's definitely a lot of um, focus on work for pile number one. Okay, despair. Let's get one last card. Okay, so mature woman is the back of the deck plus the lovers. I was kind of getting that vibe for sure. We have toil and labor here. So I want to keep these cards out. The back of the deck plus the front of the deck. I really do believe here there's someone that's been watching you or possibly even someone that could have tried to like not set you up in a bad way. Like I'm going to set you up, but set you up with someone else. It seems with this toil and labor and this occupation, it seems like you and some sort of divine masculine or some sort of person that's meant to be in your life, you're both spending a lot of time working right now. You're both spending a lot of time. You could be older than this person. This person can be older than you. That doesn't fully um, matter too much, the age. Um... I don't take mature woman as like being older, even though they do depict her as an older woman, but still. So yeah, what am I seeing here? This could be someone that has seen you at work, or this could be someone, I feel like there's multiple energies that's going to be coming around you, okay? Multiple energies here, but there's definitely going to be one person that picks you. It definitely seems like someone has their eye on you, so... That's the tea for your situation. Someone could be interested in the work that you're doing. Some of you guys really need to get out of your head because you've been con like consistently waking up every single day and doing the same shit or working on the same projects and hoping that someone's going to recognize you or possibly you haven't even been seen by a lot of eyes. But truthfully, the only eyes that the only eyes that have been seeing you are the eyes that matter. Are the eyes that matter. I'm sorry if I said that weird. But those are the only eyes seeing you right now. The people that can actually do something for you, okay? Ooh, open this up to the star card. Okay, so yeah. We have the star card coming out along with the sun card wanting to come out reverse. So this is definitely something you guys don't see. Some of you guys may be kind of in your head, feeling frustrated about possibly even the lack of love that's been around you during this time. Ace, that wanted to come up right. I swear to God it did. I would not like manipulate it, but it literally wants to come up right. Then we have the Ace of um, freaking Wands plus the Magician here. Oh, okay. So let's see. Let's get one more card to see what else this T could possibly be. Oh, not the rhyme. Okay, last card. Oh, we have two. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands coming out along with the Ace of Cups coming out. So there's a lot of Aces in this spread here. We also have the High Priestess coming out reverse with the Nine of Swords. So, whew. okay, so this is heavy, heavy energy, whatever I'm getting within this connection or from you guys at least. You guys are really about to be walking into a new start here. 
especially with this chariot card plus the tower this is about to shake whatever foundation you have but in the best way possible okay so there could really be someone here that's going to pursue you that's going to change whatever toil and labor you're going through that's going to want to possibly help you or offer you a helping hand here or this could also be just a dynamic where someone who is this could be someone who works in the same place as you I don't know someone who works in the same place as you it just seems like they have their freaking eye on you they may want to work with you but I feel like there's also some underlying emotional feelings here too but for some of you guys this is strictly business okay but this person could be a fire sign a message is definitely going to come through this person has consistently been seeing you work and like i'm sorry to sound corny but you look attractive while you're doing this they're just like in all of your energy like you're you're just handling what you need to handle and even if there is any if there is a lot of labor or whatever there's a lot of consistency with your energy a lot whoever this is you're very consistent with your work you're very disciplined here and I don't know, it's almost like, do you see how this person's like leaned up against the chair and it looks like he's watching someone? It almost looks like he's watching this energy too, but it's like they're watching in amazement. Like they're watching like, damn, they look good or damn, they're focused or damn, they're hardworking. Like there's a lot of, oh, sorry for the burp. There's a lot of this energy of this person admiring you at this time. So they could really be a fire sign. There could also be something here with like your money not being as good as it needs to be or this person maybe you're comfortable maybe you're not like living lavish and living in complete luxury that's not going to be for all of you some of you guys probably nah this is <laughs> if this is for you then you're probably not in that space and it seems as though regardless of that this person is like they want to change that they're seeing you dealing with this despair but you're just dealing with it like it's like you don't need this person but you will accept their help and they understand that but yeah i feel like you are what this person has been wanting okay so we have flow coming out it seems like you could have manifested this as well some of you guys have really been wanting a new start when it comes to love look do you see how this card says supports eases benefits energizes like there's someone here that believes possibly whatever like skill you have could benefit them as well but they want to benefit you in the same way it's like scratch my back i'll scratch yours type of vibe <laughs> so it's like you come you can do the work here um i'll support you here i'll have everything set up for you in this way um this person wants to be energized or given something in some way too though Wait, there's something that I was picking up on. Oh yeah, you working for them, but this person also providing support and resources for you. Maybe not even working for this person, helping them with some sort of project here or whatever, but there's someone here that really sees skill. So a lot of you guys need to be prepared for this. A lot of you guys need to be prepared for someone to reach out for you. We have multiple cards here signaling communication, okay? So this person wants to support you and I feel like the situation may really start um, off as business especially if there's a small project that this person wants to get done or some sort of project that they want to i feel like this person wants to see what really you can do and maybe they're gonna like see if it's worth permanently investing in but this could even be when it comes to a relationship especially with that sun card reverse this person doesn't fully know everything about you i do feel like they see the goodness in your heart and they see possibly the struggle that you've gone through in the past or the struggle that you're currently going through and they would like to provide some sort of support and ease you through whatever situation you're going through this could be what you guys have manifested okay this is all this is the beginning of some sort of new start and i feel like through further inspection, through getting to know you further, that's when this person will decide whether they want to make a gesture toward you. I feel like a lot of you guys have been focusing and working hard, and so your guides are really trying to let you know that if you work so for so long, something has to give, something has to change. It's inevitable. It really is. Oh, look, we have intimacy coming out. Eighth house. So yeah, there's someone here, whoever this person is, they've been consistently watching you. <laughs> 
they've been consistently watching you consistently looking at your social media here and i picked this up before i'm only gonna say this this is not for all of you so please um i do feel like this person believes that you guys could be a power couple especially with this card as the back of the deck it says reputation and it's like power couple vibes plus this card assets so but yeah i feel um this person could be into spirituality. This is not for all of you. So they may see that you're going through this rough time. They may light a candle for you. Um, they may try to do something to protect you from the evil eye. That's not for all of you. But yeah, this person really sees a future between the two of you. They really believe that um, whether it's just through money or whatever. But I think a lot of you guys have like a lot of like very attractive energy here very sexual energy here especially with this erotic capital because capital represents like you know i guess it could be an asset i'm not really sure <laughs> but i believe it could be an asset or something that's like powerful or something that is like your i don't know i don't know but you guys get what i mean like your asset so <laughs> um there could be this kind of energy here of like that kind of being the power that you hold over this person there may be someone here that may even just want to be with you in a sexual way too. Maybe they want to provide money for you and provide stability for you. I don't know why I heard Cinderella. These cards give me Cinderella vibes for some reason. And I just heard a, a hawk. So, but yeah, this person may possibly want to be in that type of dynamic. Not literally, so please guys. <laughs> but it's just like this vibe of like looking for someone like you. Like this is how it's been. There could be multiple energies that are going to pursue you during this time too. I feel like this has been a season of like literally being in the drought for some of you guys. Your money could have been a little bit low right now. Love options could have been low, whatever. But like, I feel like your spirit guides, when you still have like faith in your manifestations and these birds are literally squawking like crazy right now. So this is definitely for you guys. But if you have faith in your manifestation, regardless of external outcomes, you are promised what you are like what you're trying to manifest like it's going to happen for you do you hear the bird wait now they want to stop great when the music gets i'm just gonna pause it for now do you hear the birds like they just started going crazy so yeah though you're definitely a mystery to this person and they're watching you from afar right now someone here that's watching you from afar just in all like they enjoy watching you work too because you may be really attractive to this person again with this erotic capital here there's a lot of sexual energy here a lot of lust desire <laughs> this person may be very confident in the fact that they can have you or something but i also get not really like to say like you're nothing but like this person is a confident person you know but I, th I feel like there's this energy, especially with these scissors here, of you really cutting people off, especially I opened this up to self or I stopped shuffling as soon as I start talking about this. So some of you guys could be way too fucking focused on yourself, on your own business, on making sure you're set. And so it could really be very attractive to this person where it's like you are not looking for this person to be your savior. You want to be your own savior. And I feel like this person wants to help you with that. They want to really be that like support for you. I feel like this person may feel you support them as well, too. Or like, there's something here about feeling like you're going to support them. So yeah, this person is definitely, there's an intense pull. This person is intensely gravitated toward you, um, possibly due to the sexual desire. But I feel like there could be something, like some underlying spiritual stuff happening here. Especially with all of this, like, eighth house energy. I keep seeing this card. So some of you guys could really be meant to work with this person, could really be meant to start a business with this person. Yeah, that could really be the vibe here. I'm seeing as well, like this person is looking at your social media, okay? They're watching whatever you're doing. And I think I said that before this card came out. I'm not sure, but I think I mentioned something about like, they're definitely looking at you, looking at your business or whatever. And then this card comes out stalking. <laughs> so they're definitely keeping this a secret for now. I'm not really sure why, but they're not going to keep it a secret for too long. I feel like there's something here about manifesting, especially with the star card coming out. And I mentioned something about someone lighting a candle. So I don't know if this person has lit a candle in regards to this connection, hoping for this connection or what here. 
but they really believe that you two can aid each other okay we have roots coming out so yeah this person will know more about you they may feel like you're in your shell or they may only see you working okay and yes it's very ad it's very admirable that you enjoy working and it's very admirable that you're hard working and that you have all of these um goals that you're trying to obtain and that you're trying to reach but it's like this person wants to see more they want to know more they want to get to know you on a more intimate level especially with this intimacy coming out they want to know your darkest secrets like it's like this person has such a weird pull toward you it's like your energy is so rare or something. I'm not really sure the proper word, but they feel pulled toward you. They really do. You could be a part of this person's soul family. So you may have the same, some of you guys may be in tune with who this person is, but you may have the same um, interests as them, hobbyists as them, maybe even the same career. Sorry about that. <laughs> this card fell. But yeah, so this person could want to help you when it comes to real estate. They could be involved in real estate. Possibly they, mm, that's what I'm seeing. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Maybe they're going to, maybe you and this person are going to get involved in real estate in the future. That's not for all of you. <laughs> but I do feel like this person really wants to get to know your inner world here because it's obvious that you've gone through a lot. It's obvious that you have to overcome a lot. And this person is regardless of how you feel you look and whatever this person is in all of your energy and in all of how much you've accomplished and how how much you still work so they may know a little bit about your energy or they just may see like this is life in general like life is fucking hard right now or life is like this right now and this person is just making it work for themselves they're still working so we have gemini coming out plus scorpio so this could be your sign or the sign of the person that is interested in you right now. Yeah, this person is very curious about you. Communication is going to be coming in very soon, guys. Very, very soon. I also see Aries as the back of the deck. So communication is going to be coming in very soon, though. I really believe, like, yeah, there's something here about your energy. Like, this person may actually use words, and I'm sorry if this sounds corny, but they may use words like they're brilliant, or they may really view you as someone who's very brilliant, or someone who has, you are uh, underlooked or overlooked right now, and this person sees that, but it's almost like they could be excited, especially if this is like a, a, a like, producer or someone like that, someone in that type of environment here but it's like they're almost excited that they found like this diamond in the rough type of vibe especially because gem gemini you know <laughs> love gemini's because i'm one but yeah so they may feel like that but again there's something here about you being you being connected to this person in a very very weird way in a very very weird way they feel such a strong desire to like and call toward you i see communication coming out so much here so you could be someone you could really work hard guys this person could have seen you work hard they could see what you're doing maybe they're just watching for now maybe they have someone to communicate with first before reaching out to you but this person has their eye on you and they're very impressed with what it is that they see they're very impressed with by the way you guys carry yourself they're very impressed with like how hard working you are they really want to collaborate with you. They really want to communicate with you as well, too. There could be someone that really, in, like, admires the way you communicate, admires the way that you adapt to certain situations, the way you vocalize certain situations, too. And look, the communication card wants to come out again. So this could be something that looks, that may look good for their business. There's something here about the throat chakra. So this could be um, music, singing especially since i did say producer so that's not for all of you guys it could just be someone that's interested in you for like a fucking internship or something it doesn't have to be that deep but that's definitely going to resonate for some of y'all so yeah but look we have intense passionate secretive definitely so many secrets here so many secrets i don't know this person really wants to know all of your secrets especially because some of you guys are very isolated some of you guys are very private some of you guys really don't let everyone in your business okay there could be someone this is not for all of you literally for a small few of you but these two people there could be two people that are like i want to 
place a bet which one will she want or which one will he want like it's that type of vibe of like let's see who they'll choose but regardless um you who, like you can ignore that last part if it didn't resonate but i'm getting look and this card wanted to fall out this mystery card it's gone now but i got i literally saw like you guys being a mystery to this person you guys really being by yourself minding your business it's strictly work with you for them like whatever this person sees all they see is work they don't see this other side to you they don't see this fun side to you they don't see the intimate side there's so much intimacy look intimacy here and then i don't know if you can tell but it says intimacy where does it say it right oh <laughs> i lost it what where does it say oh it doesn't say that oh wait it does <laughs> it says it right there where my thumb is you probably can't see it though but I, i'm i'm gonna give up now because i can't tell if you can see it or not but yeah so there's a lot of this lusty type of energy here this person wants to get to know you because it's like no one else will get to know you and they know damn well there's kind of this energy of this person feeling like you're into them too or like just being excited at like due to the idea that you're into them or that you're going to be because this person could be someone who's very attractive someone who is very confident so let's get some more cards to see what else this t is yeah but you guys are very resourceful very hard working and even if you don't have a relationship with this person it's like i still want to be around this person or i still want to work with them or they still have unique a unique perception or certain skills whatever the case is oops this card just flew across the room okay yeah look isolation I said some of you guys could literally be isolating yourselves and just fucking working hard and this person is like they could really want like the power couple type of dynamic where it's like I want my person to be working hard like this they could have just looked at you when it comes to like oh yeah you're my co-worker or you're someone that I'm seeing at work or whatever and then it's like looking at you now it's like I want more with this person or I want to even work with this person along with pursuing this with this person. This could really be soul family, whoever this person is. And you guys may have the same likes and interest. And this may even start into a business. Start as or start up a business. Okay. <laughs> but I see a lot of flow here from you. Flow came out here and then it came out here. Isn't that so crazy? It's so weird how my cards just clarify everything like if one card comes out i can assure you it'll come out multiple times but anyway i don't like how that one fell out i feel as though um yeah this person really believes that this connection will flow between the two of you they really like your vibe they really like the way that you got like you carry yourself they think that it'll be easy for this situation to work i feel like this person's really excited about like communicating with you it's not going to take too long for this person to talk to you too. Look, do you see how this card says roots and then this card is growth? I don't know. I feel like this person may want parts in your growth. They may see a lot of like potential. Like they know that you're going to be successful, whether it's now or whether it's in the future. And so maybe this person is like possibly even wanting to get connected now. Not in a bad way, not in a leechy type of way. But yeah, they want to get connected to you now before someone else does. This could be in a romantic way or this could also be business-wise. This card just fell across the room. Okay, ideation. Yeah, there's a lot of... See, look, and then Geminis really have a lot of good ideas, a lot of bright ideas here. This bird is squawking outside or people... I had someone have like a fucking smart-ass mouth in my comments like, is the bird chirping or squawking? Like, does it fucking matter? Jesus Christ, you know what I mean, right? Like, what the hell? So anyway, I hate when people do that. Like, do you really think you're superior than me because you can fucking correct me on some middle school vocabulary? Like, please, please. Anyway, <laughs> not me getting riled up. Because I hate when people are fucking snarky in the comments. Like, go get help. Anyway, this person may really like your ideas. Oh, Scorpio plus that freaking intuition card. There's a lot of intuition with you guys. Oh my God. I just realized you guys cannot see a lot of the cards. Oopsies. I need to start looking. 
Because <laughs> sometimes you guys cannot see the cards, and I don't even know until the video's damn near over, even though it's not over. But, yeah. So, yeah, though. I feel like you guys, you could be someone who isn't intuitive just like this person. That's not for all of you. But I do believe that there could be something here about this person valuing your spiritual beliefs or something about your spirituality. Now, if this is, if this person doesn't know you, well... You probably, some of you guys may not know this person, um, but some of you guys do. Some of you guys know who I'm talking about. Look at all this purple coming out. These are literally what the cards, how I drew the cards. It was magic and faith. So there's a lot of higher chakras here. I feel like you are someone who has a, a sharp mind. There's a song that says, you got a beautiful face, but got nothing to say. Oh, so it's like, yeah, you can be attractive, but like you have like, there's nothing, there's no substance with you. It's completely different, especially with this Scorpio energy, which represents intensity or being deep or there being a lot of internal, you know, or being deep into the eternal. So I feel that that could be you guys. You could be deep into the occult. That's not for all of you. Some people are like, no, um, but you could be deep into the occult. You could just be involved in the occult. You could share certain spiritual abilities. You could just be deep into something that you take interest in. I do feel for some of you it could be something a little bit more darker, like conspiracies or like red pill type of shit. But for others of you, it could just be certain things that you're into. But all these cards, both of these cards represent darkness. So just saying. <laughs> so yeah, though, this energy is super cute, super fun, too. Because usually when I do these tea readings, it's always some drama or something messy or some crazy ass shit. But this one's really good. What your guides are just telling you to know during this time is get ready, especially with this pain card that just wanted to fly the freak out. I feel like a lot of you guys have been going through a lot of pain and you've been wondering, like, when is this cycle going to end? Look, movement. Oh, my God. Look at what I did. Faith and movement, bro. You just need to have fucking faith. Things are moving in your favor. Things are happening now. When the universe says, like, soon things are going to change for you, and then you're like, okay, but you said that six months ago, or you said that four months ago, whatever. Like, con con consider that compared to the 12 years, or the 19 years, or the 20 years, or the 30 years that you've been spent that you've spent in this cycle. Like, four months is fucking soon. But it may not even take that long. But regardless... Your guides are trying to really let you know that the T is your life is truly about the change within the next few months, like within the next few months, the growth that you've been looking for, the energy and the, the consistent effort that you've been putting into whatever you've been trying to manifest. I'm sure you've heard this message over and over and over again. And what's been happening internally is you've been meeting that. OK, so internally, it's like you've been here. Right. And in order for you to get your manifestations, you have to get to this level on the astral realm or whatever i don't know internally spiritually right and so you've just been doing all this work and now that you're finally here things are just going to start attracting but you've just made it so now you just need to start to you just need to wait and you may even notice that things are already attracting them themselves or themselves toward you so just relax just wait and just keep working just keep working just keep doing what you're doing check in with yourself make sure you're good make sure your health is well make sure you're well but keep fucking going keep working so i hope that this resonated though i love every single last one of you comment a flower down below if you made it to this point if anyone's interested in personal readings all that information is in the description box and i'll see you guys in another video bye hello pile number two welcome to or back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me on or here i don't know but thank you for joining me at another video or during another video i don't fucking know thank you for joining me though again <laughs> we're gonna get straight into this message though and see what's the tea surrounding you so this could be about you this could be about others if it's for you, you will clearly know who it's about. You will know if this resonates with you. Okay, so anyway, what's happening? What's the tea? Ooh, what's the tea for my pile number ones? I mean, pile number two, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, we have concern as the first card that wanted to fly out. Ooh, that one almost fell on the damn floor. We have sudden wealth. Ooh. Some of you guys have been seeing 111, 333, 555. Keep that in mind. Don't like how that 
other card came out, which is why I put it back. Okay, so we have expectation. There's a lot of people in tune with something on a spiritual level. Expecting something. Thinking about something. Worried about something. Oh, this card just fell. Hold up. Okay, so we have official person, and let's get one last card to see what the hell this could mean. All right, mature man. This is, oh, bad health. This has come out before. Message of concern. There's a lot of concern surrounding you. Bruh, I, I know what this message is already, too. <sighs> Some people are going to be real mad about this one. And I'm upset because this, I, I've mentioned this before, too. And I don't like repeating messages or anything like that. But regardless, um, I'm going to keep it out. Bad health, message of concern. There's a lot of people concerned about some older gentlemen. Ooh, not gentlemen. I can't believe I said that word. Some of you guys already know about this. Hmm. Just saw great fortune, too. Oh, look, false person plus great fortune wants to come out again. Okay, so this is kind of showing me something else, though. Like, it's showing me a lot of energy here. <laughs> there is a lot surrounding whoever you are, okay? So there's going to be some people trying to come back. This is not for all of you, but they may even be trying to, like, and I don't know how I got this fucking message, um, but I know that this is a channeled message for somebody specific, especially with that false person. There may be someone here that is expecting you to receive something or that knows you're about to receive some sort of money, some sort of financial compensation, some sort of win. There's just something here where someone, it's obvious, okay? Um, some of you guys are walking around talking about it or walking as if you're confident or telling people about it or maybe you told one person and they told other people. Um, but I'm feeling as though there's a lot of people concerned about what's coming your way. There may be someone here that tries to pretend as if they have bad health or someone that tries to put on this show, especially because I'm seeing false person along with this great fortune, put on this show to be around you. Okay. So this could be bad mental health. This could be bad physical health. This person may come toward you crying or they may come toward you with a lot of emotion. That's the main thing I see, but this is very calculated. Okay, this is very calculated. So I believe that this is how this person is used to things and how they are able to manipulate things and get away with things is instead of having these conversations and apologizing for the things that this person has done, they'll just call you out of nowhere with some crazy story or with something massive that's happened to where your focus is immediately just put on okay i completely forgot about our argument let's focus on this this drama that's happened or this this scary situation that has happened okay so let's get some more cards to see whether this is fake or not look open this up to the freaking seven of swords i really believe whoever this is there's some deceit and manipulation here but let's get some cards to see This was underneath the other card, so Eight of Swords. There's a lot of people feeling tied right now or feeling stuck like in their own lives. They're, these people are opportunists just in general, okay? Like in general. Hold on, let me get more cards. I'm sorry, this message is definitely an intense one it's kind of all over the place i feel like there's multiple energies here that could be plotting on you plotting on something there's definitely going to be something revealed something said Oof. okay magician with the five of swords okay so multiple things here I see a lot of unhappiness trying to come toward you. I don't necessarily think this seems like other people trying to get you stuck in some sort of negative mindset, okay? Negative space. Regardless of whether someone is sick or not, so you guys do not have to claim that. I, I feel like someone could actually be sick for some of you. 
for others of you it is fake okay so just please take it how it resonates but i'm just feeling like after these people get you in this room so this could be like a call saying like hey so and so is sick or they're dealing with this or whatever right and these people get you in this room or you're finally around all of these energies possibly the energy of the person who's sick this is when the conflict will start and for some of you there could actually be someone who actually is sick right but because you haven't been concerned about the situation or because someone had to tell you about the situation or someone had to tell you that they're sick, it's going to cause a lot more conflict. It's going to create a lot of conflict. Am I also, oh my God, I hate saying this, but for, I have to be real with what I see, all right? And some of you guys know this already. Some of you guys have been anticipating this. Some of you guys know that drama and conflict is about to start. See, look, communication, all of this. Page of Swords, bruh. Page of Swords represents calculation, represents planning, represents using their intellect to do certain things that just aren't serving anyone else. So this is all because someone really misses your energy. Someone wants to be around you. If you do not respond to some sort of message, especially regarding someone being sick, whether it's fake or real, it will create hell. Okay? It will create absolute hell if you do not respond or if you do not acknowledge whatever happens okay that's just something that i picked up on especially because this is this person's way it's like they've been thinking for a while how to get you back around them okay they could have expected you to come around before and you didn't you've just been winning or whatever and i feel like this is where the resentment comes in too um not only the fact that you they miss you you don't you seemingly don't miss them and your life has ascended right but they don't want this ending to happen between the two of you so yeah i just feel like whatever calculation they've been planning whatever things they've been planning it's all rooted in the fact that they miss you and they're really going to try to come back i don't know like it's like they want to they want to be a part of your life but it seems as though they're still going to try to create conflict look i open this up to the fucking five of wands okay let's get some some more tarot i mean some oracle cards to see what else and of course some more tarot but yeah, so this is interesting. Um, I really feel, especially with all this negativity and all of this violence, it doesn't make sense for the magician to be out here with the sudden wealth plus the eight of swords. Like, it just doesn't make sense. So I feel, I mean, it makes sense, but you get what I mean. I hate when people, never mind. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop having sidebar rants in my reading. But regardless, um, I'm just feeling as though you guys have been literally manifesting, going within and changing your, yourself energetically okay a lot of people and you could be expecting money you could be expecting um blessings and rewards in your own life it just seems whatever the situation is could be a tad bit distracting of course if someone is actually sick then you know give them your prayers be around them comfort them whatever you feel called to do but look i'm opening this up like you guys this money is coming toward you like there's some sort of financial stability that's coming your way Oop. Yeah, dreams. Look, this literally says visions. I don't know. For those of you, for I know that this is finding the people that it's meant to find. You've been having visions or maybe you've even been going out of your way to visualize the money that's coming your way or to visualize the experiences that you are about to have, especially with that magician card. And then next we have confusion. I don't, it just seems like this is the worst timing for whoever, for whatever energies to try to come in. You know, this is the worst timing for them, especially with that page of swords. I feel like they've been watching you for a while, possibly been watching some sort of ascension. Maybe there's some sort of trip you're waiting to go on or something that these people know that you're waiting to do, or they know, some of you guys, they don't know, but yeah, regardless, um, I feel that, oof, there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of energy. Um, I feel like some of them do not know what you have going on for yourself and do not know what's coming your way okay or maybe they have an like a feeling but they don't know you know what i mean like you can know when someone's going to be successful you don't know how but they're going to be so i feel like that's how they feel but um there's something here god there's something i was going to say i guess that's fine <laughs> i'm sorry guys i forgot what i wanted to say People have been seeing what you've been investing in though for sure or at least they've been seeing that your investments have been paying off or they've been seeing that you're busy you're occupied juggling these things juggling whatever is happening okay and it does seem like this energy 
even though they may like and for some of y'all this may start as a separate family member or someone else who is having bad health right and then these people are around you too maybe now is not the time that you wanted to be around these energies so honestly what i'm gonna say is there could be someone specific who actually is sick just take it how it resonates guys some some of you guys this person is not this is a narcissist if they're lying about that but um probably even worse than that but psychopath but anyway look communication is here too so regardless this is going to be communicated to you you're going to have to maybe not have to but you're going to be asked or expected to visit somebody in the hospital okay and i feel that regardless of what decision you make there's going to be some sort of argument there's going to be some sort of conflict whether this family um is around and they're like where have you been or why haven't you been giving me your energy or whatever or whether it's um because you simply didn't go it's because you didn't visit this person it'll create a lot of hell yeah i feel like you guys have been busy <laughs> whatever you you've been busy in your own world doing your own thing this energy is super complicated whatever energy they're bringing in a lot of complication also, just take a... Oh, wait, never mind. The card disappeared as soon as I want to talk about it. Maybe it'll come out. Maybe it won't. It's fine. I feel like a lot of this energy... There's some jealousy here. Possibly jealousy that you've empowered yourself, that you are getting things done. This could be the only chance that these people have to express that jealousy. To express that resentment for you. see what else okay yeah i feel you've been being very not even like because selfish is not always the bad a bad thing okay so we have chiron chiron that represents healing and look this is the card that i want well i didn't even want to come out but i noticed so i definitely feel like it was meant to come out especially because i wanted to talk about this plus i want to talk about this plus i want to talk about this <laughs> So all of these were definitely meant to come out. I feel like you guys are going through a time of luck. And even if you're not fucking lucky and rich as shit, your situation is better than whoever's around you. Whoever's trying to come toward you with this drama. Your situation is 150 million gazillion times better than theirs. Okay. And this is why um, these energies, um, they have so much resentment for you. But I just feel that this time, it's going to be a very stressful time, possibly for these energies. There could just be some people who really don't care. They're just there. But like, it's going to be a very stressful time and they there may create chaos. So the main thing your guides are wanting you to do, you guys know that you're fucking spiritual. You guys know that you have spiritual abilities, spiritual gifts, and you know how to protect yourself spiritually. You also know that spiritual protection may also take place in the physical realm so you may just need to remove yourself from certain situations you may want to make sure you have money to leave as soon as things start getting uncomfortable um that's the main thing that i'm seeing though your guides are asking that you do not allow the situation to distract you fully these people may try to reconcile with you that may be their intentions this may be the only chance that they have to try to reconcile set firm boundaries some of you guys need to start getting prepared to set boundaries there's going to be a lot of different energies in your energetic space a lot of different energies around you possibly even people um i'm sorry to say this it's not for all of you but police officers wanting to talk to you doctors that's for some people because i'm seeing this official person come out here um so yeah but what i what i'm really trying to say is learn how to communicate things do not say shh <laughs> that's really what i'm hearing too like shut the hell up about the things that you're doing the money that you're let people think that you're you're fucking broke you have nothing to prove to these energies um it seems like some of these people may just want to be getting close to you like all of this energy that i'm seeing around you is pretty it's like psychic vampires it's like a light coming into a room and then like a whole bunch of bugs just running toward it like that's literally what i see with these energies here so just be careful okay do not go back to your people pleasing ways make sure that you are balanced and in this moment just be so socially aware you may not even need to communicate to these people the only person you may need to communicate to is the person that's sick or who's playing sick whatever it is okay you may not even even want to do that if they're pretending whatever the case is okay 
Use your judgment here. And I feel that you guys see things, especially with this Libra energy, you see things very clearly and very fairly too. Like you're not an unfair person. You're not just going in situations judging people unjustly. You have these judgments due to past events. And so there's a need for you to forgive, but don't forget the things that these people have done. And don't forget the character traits and the characteristics that they've shown you. Don't forget who they've shown you that they were. Okay, but definitely be focused on yourself. I feel like a lot of people are going to have opinions about the things, and this may come during this time. I'm seeing a funeral gathering. So they may have opinions about the things that you study. They may try to iso isolate you, ostracize you, shun you in this period. Remember what you came here for, okay? You probably don't even want anything to do with these energies. And it's almost like, you know how there's like a fool or something? Like imagine a fool or someone that's just super embarrassing or someone who you don't they have nothing going for themselves why the fuck do you care about their opinion like some of those people the main people who have the most to say they don't even they can't formulate their own opinions or ideas and if they did then they wouldn't have so much judgment about your opinions and ideas because they would understand how it feels to be criticized due to like from, uh, based off of your opinions and your beliefs and your life's philosophy whatever and these people they don't have that they haven't had the time or they do have the time but they've never sat with themselves and cultivated opinions and beliefs and went through within themselves to create this level of consciousness that you're at or to get on this level of consciousness that you're at okay so yeah these people they may have a lot to say but you know yourself and you need to not forget all that you've learned in the face of adversity that's the main thing that your guides are trying to warn you about in the face of adversity remain strong and balanced in who it is that you are your beliefs your belief systems and if they don't fucking like it they're not supposed to be a part of your life and they're not your soul family and that's just that and who gives a fuck type beat you know so yeah there's been a lot of growth here and this situation may possibly um show you that i'm seeing a lot of fa familial type of things here some family stuff going on so i'm seeing that oh you guys have definitely like beat i don't think that's the right word but the generational trauma you guys are like you guys are the um scapegoat you guys are the black sheep and you're really actually going to be triggered in certain ways especially in this environment but in a good way to where you really are able to acknowledge the things that your family have gone through you're going to really be able to see possibly even your past self in this situation it's hard for me to explain but i'm just going to tell you that this event is going to be very insightful and it's going to really help you recognize your place okay um, you could be standing very tall energetically compared to everyone in this room. You could be here like there's a higher level of consciousness that you'll have compared to all of these people in the room. There may be people here that try to irritate you deliberately, that try to project certain triggers or things that you've dealt with in the past. Okay, there are certain triggers or insecurities or problems that you faced in the past. You need to make sure that you are not being triggered by these energies. Remember what you came to this room for. I don't really know where you're going, but there's something here. So, yeah, there's just someone here that may try to clash with you. I see a lot. I see some conflict that tries to happen. And the main thing is protect your energy. Bring crystals with you. Put your evil eye pendants on ask your guides for protection and when you start feeling this resentment and this weird energy you may just need to clearly articulate yourself swallow your emotions allow these people to be emotional or whatever understand that it's not personal understand that all of this comes from envy comes from the fact that they really wish that they were in your position and they wish that they had 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 the strength to do this shadow work had the strength to go within into the void state and change their level of consciousness you've had the energy to do so and i feel a lot of these energies are curious about you and they are curious about all of the things that you're obtaining they're going to see your energy is going to speak for itself guys there's going to be a lot of people that are curious about you but there's also going to be a lot of people that are inspired by you so do not forget that don't be so caught up in all of the drama and the conflict there may be younger cousins etc siblings whatever that's super inspired by your energy that may look up to you that may genuinely admire you maybe they cannot show it because it seems that there are a lot of other um opposing energies around you let's get a few more cards Ooh. This card fell. Yeah, you guys are really going to want to cleanse after this. <laughs> You're really going to want to make sure you cleanse your energy after this one. After being around whoever. Keep things secret, okay? 
that's another form of spiritual protection now look we have mystery here not necessarily telling you to like be fucking secretive but keep things like you know keep things private they don't need to know about your wins and your successes truthfully okay protection is the back of the deck plus magic so i really believe you guys are you have these powers and you've done a lot of healing now is the time where all that you've learned during this healing process is tested so that's really what it's going to be i feel like you guys really do need to just um don't have anxiety because i see this anxiety card coming out when you go into these situations do not be worried okay do not get attached to the past version of yourself be very strong and grounded and if you feel like you can't if you feel like now is not the time for you, if you feel like you don't have the capacity to deal with all of these people coming toward you, even regard like despite whoever's death or whatever sickness happens, then do not go. That's protection in itself. If you feel the need to not go, then don't go, okay? But yeah, I feel there's some energies here that really do want to reconcile with you. Some people who that it's going to be the only time that they're able to see you and they're going to want to see you. There's also going to be some energies that are determined to create conflict for you, that are determined to isolate you and ostracize you and make you feel uncomfortable. And that's okay. You do not have to be in a space. You can walk into this room, say hello, whatever you need to do, send your best wishes, give a gift, talk to the person who is sick, the person you need to talk to, and everyone else can buy. As soon as you're done, you can leave. You don't have to subject yourself to this because some of these energies may relish in shunning you or may that's the time where they feel good, where they feel bigger than you, even though in any other circumstance and in un any other way, in any other scenario, they feel lower than you. But they feel good when you are alone or isolated in these scenarios, okay? So make sure to cleanse yourself. Don't be around too much. Um, and if conflict starts to arise, if people try to make conflict for you, articulate yourself clearly. Take three deep breaths and just calm yourself down and just say what needs to be said. You may even want to read them to filth in a very articulate way to where sometimes it's really, or maybe not articulate, that's not the fucking right word, I'm so sorry. Um, in a very eloquent way, I'm so sorry. Well, look, we have false person here. But yeah, like sometimes when you read someone of filth with like great vocabulary and just so clearly, it's like, what can they even do? They just look like a fucking idiot. All they can do is call you a bitch or this, that, and a third. When what you said is, yeah, I can tell that you have some issues with your mother and with your mom. No, I'm kidding. But like, you know, it's just like that whole vibe. Maybe you don't have to really do that. Maybe you don't even have to fucking read them. But of course, each situation is different. I believe in matching energy. So you can do what you want to do, though. <laughs> so I hope that this resonated, though. Comment down below a planet emoji if it did. Thank you guys so much for showing your love to this video. I'm going to see you guys in another video, I hope. If you enjoy my energy and if you enjoyed this reading, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video. And if you're interested in any personal readings, all that information is in the description box. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Hi, pound number three. So we're going to be seeing what is the tea surrounding you? Let's just get into this message because we just did two piles before this. And that's okay. I'm not going to rush pile number three. So don't think that. While I'm shuffling, make sure to place your energy and focus on the cards. And let's see what else I need to say. If you guys want a personal, uh, uh, personalized reading, all that information is in the description box. Okay, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> Ooh, these cards. They definitely do jump out, though. Okay, despair is the first card. Dun, 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 dun. Don't know what that can mean yet. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> very, I mean, it's not funny, but it's like, damn, despair. And then we have someone who's like really happy. It almost looks like the background. It's like the same background, but in a better light, you know, a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm already getting that this has to do with somebody from your past, okay? There's someone who's facing a lot of despair here. Don't you guys know when you've had, like, so much freaking money and then you spend it and then you're just like... And then there's a time where, like, everything's going bad and you're just like, fuck, I had this money. I had all this at one point. Like, that's how this person is feeling. Bad health as well. I feel like there's a lot of... 
sorry i just try, i'm trying to get the cards out but there's a lot of comparing going on here a lot of comparing in some sort of situation it just seems like it seems like you've been gifted a lot of things that someone hasn't been okay all right so whew, this energy is intense what is the gossip around you right now so there's just somebody from your past this could be someone that you have children with of course that's not for all of you and um, we're gonna get into what this child has to mean um for some of you but yeah so there's someone here that is in complete despair right now they could be especially because that looks like the same person just with a hat on it, and look we have poverty coming out look that literally looks like the same person so there could be someone here that is planning on coming toward you possibly with a gift possibly with some sort of apology apology what the hell did i just say apology what <laughs> but coming here with some sort of apology okay but it's not genuine with this thief thief card there's a lot of um resentment some of you guys and this is not for all of you but as a, even as a kid you could have had a lot of things handed to you that's not for all of you because we do have privileged lady okay maybe this person feels like they're right to steal from you or even if you're not a privileged lady or if you even if you haven't had certain things given to you all the time you may have this now okay you may have this now and there's something here about this person feeling like it's right or they're entitled or they deserve this okay so this is an do you see how this is someone who like kind of wants to distract you like this girl has her boobies out she's like trying to entice this man and like da 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 little do they know you guys are not one to be fucking played and little do they know them trying to come in with this energy you are especially because i'm seeing this child and for some reason this child is showing me like a child of the universe and this this child to me is you regardless of like a, i don't know why i felt the need to say regardless of race because that's obvious <laughs> but this deck only has white people on here so but we don't really care um, anyway, <laughs> I feel with this connect with this situation, you are someone who is divinely guided and protected. Okay, that's really what's tea. And these people may not fucking know that shit. These people may think that like you're privileged and you have this and now you have this going for you. So it wouldn't even matter if I took this. Little do they know what's the real tea is you probably would have easily handed up whatever like was like uh, whatever they asked you for. Okay, so this could be someone here that was already invited into your house. They could have already stolen from you. Maybe they're thinking about coming back. Maybe they don't know that, you know. For some of you but this could be someone that's already planning on stealing from you someone who thinks that you will not find out but do you see how this person catches them like oh okay let's get some more cards though to see what else is happening what else is going on what is the tea around my pile number one yeah, but they may think that you just are an attractive person or you just have an attractive face. But there's definitely so much more duality to you. Okay, there's so much more to you here. Some of you guys need to be careful about the people that you're allowing into your life at this point in time. And this isn't necessarily to scare you. Just use discernment. Just see things for what they are. Distractions. Be real with yourself when certain things are distracting you, when certain things are taking away your focus, be real with yourself and acknowledge that. Okay, we have this judgment card that obviously wanted to come out, but I don't want to keep it out. Okay, yeah, this seven of swords want to fall out. Yeah, someone is going to be very impulsive coming toward you. They could be um, desperate. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past, guys. I'm sorry the cards are, like, falling all over the floor or whatever. There's someone here from your past. This energy is definitely very wild, very erratic, very... 
different behavior. This could also be past life stuff. This could be someone that has um, manipulated you in a past life. Regardless of whoever this is and whatever has happened, you are a child of the cosmos. You are a child of the divine. And you are also very protected. You still have this very pure type of um, energy to you. Even if you're not like someone that's like dumb and someone who's like, just because you're pure does not mean you're naive. Just because you're, you have this young childlike mind, not even, I'm not calling you dumb or anything like that. Just because you have these, these ways about you does not mean there aren't these other ways about you too there, there aren't these masculine ways like they forget i guess i guess these energies just don't know and i'm not saying this in a bad way either masculine does not have to be ba bad but yeah also the seven of swords kind of gives me your energy too though some of you guys may let people come into your life to try to play games or to try to be on that bullshit and then it's just like you peep everything and then you just slay them with your words or some shit but yeah so all i'm gonna say is the real tea is there's someone here that's trying to come into your life with this magician energy reversed and they could have already came in they could have already tried to manipulate you whatever the case is this karma and this justice is going to hit them like a entire fucking truck and the tea is this person wants so bad for their life to get together and they want so badly to be out of this despair and they're wishing for so many things they could they really see you as an opportunity like for real um so they're wishing for all these things or whatever but they're just accumulating karma so yes it's like for example they're looking at you as this privileged lady and they're like i can steal this necklace from her i can steal this from her and then they go and they steal it and then they get like a hundred dollars but you're back in the same predicament and now you have even worse karma and even worse even more negative energy projected onto you so it's like look at this nine of swords it's like that they're just creating this endless cycle of pain and torture and despair for themselves and eventually it's gonna get so bad where this person has nothing where this person really has nothing they think that they have to get get their way through stealing through stealing from other people stealing ideas um this seems this could even be because thief energy is not always like um, actual literally stealing something it could be an idea it could be something that's not um materialized yet that has not materialized yet um and so i feel with this energy here th whoever don't just be aware of people do you see how this is the seven of pentacles plus the two of cups reversed and then there's someone hiding this sword behind their back like you need to be aware of people who are like throwing rocks and then hiding their hand and shit like that like that's what it seems you're gonna notice that this person loves everything that you do or maybe they compliment you but there's a lot of passive aggressive shit being said along with that compliment or along with whatever it is that this person like says to you so don't be afraid to confront this person because they are truly weak okay this energy is weak and they may be expecting that your energy is weak definitely need to show them that your energy is far from weak okay but yeah this is the tea for this person high priestess is coming out reversed as well too so this person could try to manifest negativity look the magician they could try to ma um, manifest negativity onto people look i'm seeing the five of wands too okay okay they could try to manifest negativity onto people they could have tried to manifest negativity onto you though this is just so much jealousy because things have really worked for you it, it, it almost seems like this person is like they could be a um, scorpio for sure they could be a scorpio um but this person it's almost like you have had this given to you and this and it's like you're so fucking lucky and because this person has gone through so much darkness they don't even see any hope for anything bright any hope for anything better any reason to be optimistic or any reason to be like positivity like there's no fucking point what the fuck is the point and then when you come around possibly trying to feed them light or whatever it irritates their demons it irritates them because of course it's easy for you to fucking say that everything's gonna be okay and this that and the third so they want to project this is misplaced anger because you don't have solutions for them because you don't fucking know because you don't have to deal with all the shit that they're dealing with they're angry so they're projecting the shit on you they're trying to create conflict for you they're trying to create confusion for you they feel valid in stealing from you or taking things from you so it does seem like this person if they could they would definitely take your place but it does seem like especially if you've built something for yourself if some of you guys have obtained your success 
through ideas, through epiphanies, also through discipline. Okay, some of you guys could have. Um, most of you guys did. Some of you guys, again, this could have been handed to you. Regardless, especially for those of you that have built something for yourself, um, this person is really going to be wanting to be around you, possibly pretending to be a friend, possibly pretending to want to pick your brain. But it's stealing. All of this is stealing. And this person is going to apply it to their lives and pretty much steal your sauce, okay? They're going to try to course it'll never be the same right you have the ten of wands coming out plus the fucking eight of swords so the realty is oh and then we have the empress coming out too plus the two of wands yeah and then we have the fucking five of swords too this person they're gonna try first of all i see them telling on themselves because like it's like you see how the sword is this person's head it's like they can't even their communication is so all over the place they can't even speak properly or speak without telling on themselves especially with the eight of wands here so regardless i see this person trying to get toward you or around you especially because you got this uh, message they're definitely not gonna they're gonna be tied here and you're gonna set very very clear boundaries okay this is al almost what i see it's like that looks like a boundary to me you are the empress and you will always be and this person may try to come into this situ um, into your life or they may try to come around you and they may try to confuse you and create confusion or make it seem like they're the empress or steal or try to steal your energy or try to steal your light. Again, that could be what this thief type of energy is. They may want to humble you and come around you and humble you. Whatever the case is, they're going to try to do this. And with this ten of wands and this fucking eight of swords, it's going, look, and then I open this up to the three of swords. It's just going to bite them in the ass. It's just going to bite them in the ass. There's going to be a lot of pain and turmoil that they deal with. And yes, they may succeed in creating a slight bit of conflict for you. But in the end, due to their lack of morals, due to their lack of consistency in their own life, due to the fact that they've been using their intellect to get over on other people, it's going to create hell for them. They're going to have hell to pay. We have the fucking Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles lives in squalor. Queens of Pentacles is fucking mean. Queens of Pentacle, Queen of Pentacles is envious, jealous. That's literally the Queen of Pentacles. Money hungry. Driven by money. Then we have the Page of Swords too. Uh, come on, Page of Swords is literally the most calculating card or cal especially reversed, I should also say. This person has possibly been looking at your social media, but all this energy is super calculated, okay? It's young energy, it's calculated, it's a lot of ideas, but they're not... Even, like, this person may have ideas and plans to steal from you and steal ideas from you, but they're not gonna because their brain is moving too fast don't you guys know when there's too much happening in your head you have an idea but you apply it and because you didn't have like that clarity it was a mess the idea that you tried to do was a mess that's what i see with this look we have 10 towels yes yeah, some of you guys have status some of you guys have something here on social media some of you guys just have money some of you guys have notoriety okay I, mean, I saw this card in my head. I saw that card come out in my head. So yeah, and look, the back of the deck is complexity. Yeah, this person is going to make... See, we even have mystifies coming out. Like, this person is really here to come into the situation, put a veil over your eyes. Okay, put a veil over you. You are someone who is, they're used to this side of you. They're used to this version of you that is so nice, that is so understanding, that looks past things. When this person is trying to steal, for example, you may want it to even seem like you don't get, you don't know what this person's doing. Possibly, you know, them being petty with their communication, them trying to steal your energy, them trying to actually steal from you, whatever this case is. They're going to try to come in with this bullshit. And it's like, for example... Just close your eyes, imagine this picture, but in, in a like animated situation. <laughs> so imagine this um, person, this masculine being you, and you pretending to be distracted by this person's boobs and like what the fuck they're trying to do. And then as soon as this person's trying to t steal your pocket watch, you like glare at them. Like you see them in the fucking act, like in the act. Okay, that's what some of you guys need to be willing to do and be ready to do. Okay, some of y'all need to be ready to fucking confront motherfuckers. But some of y'all don't even have to be around for this shit. Some of you guys, you just need to see shit for what it is. But this is also your spirit guides letting you know that they are protecting you at all times. And letting you know, especially even just the fact that you watch this video. They are trying to protect you. They are protecting you. 
And anyone that tries to come into your life being vindictive, being manipulative, they will reveal their true nature. The real T is as well, you are this person's muse, okay? You are someone that this person really looks up to in the ways of how you carry yourself, in the way that you dress, the opportunities that you have. This person would die <laughs> to have those opportunities. They would die to do this. They would die to be you, like truthfully. Maybe not literally, but like when it comes to the clothes that you have or whatever, like maybe they'd want their same face, but they would want to be you, you know? So this person is going to come around and try to assist you, pretend to assist you, but it's because of the doors that you can open for them, okay? This is because of the doors that you can open for them, whether this be through them copying you or whether this is through whatever. You guys get what I mean. So yeah, just be careful. This is the main thing. This is the main thing that I'm seeing. Um, I feel with this uh, Libra energy, a lot of you guys tend to be someone who is very kind. You look past a lot of shit. It's not, it, there's no more time to look past shit. This person may really try to seem buddy-buddy um, around you, but they are a fake friend. They are a fake friend, okay? And maybe they do kind of want a friendship with you. Like maybe with, like, oh, we have cleanse. <laughs> you guys may have felt called to pick another de um, pile. But yeah, maybe you have, you um, felt called to, wait, shit. There's something I want to say. They may actually want a friendship with you, but they're envy. It's, they can't contain it, you know? Like, yes, this person looks up to you or whatever, but they partially hate you because they're, they're not you. And I wish I could um, elaborate on that even more. I really wish I could. But yeah, you guys need to, this person is going to make you feel drained. After hanging out with them, you're going to be in your head. There's going to be a lot of confusion. You're possibly going to smoke with this person or something here where you're going to be hella in your head and you're not going to know what to think. Okay, there's going to be a lot of that. It's, this person is possibly going to irritate you. Okay, their energy is going to irritate your spirit. You guys need to be in tune with that. And I know that a lot of you guys try to be very nice, especially with this childlike energy that I'm seeing. A lot of you guys may try to be someone who's very nice, may try to relate to a lot of people, may be someone who values communication. So because certain things are not directly communicated, you overlook them. It's no longer time to do that. Energy is real and you guys are powerful beings, especially with this Piscean energy. You guys have spiritual abilities and you have intuitive, naturally intuitive abilities, okay? Look into that. Look into your own abilities and start trusting them more here, okay? Start trusting your abilities more. But yeah, you guys are adored and admired by a lot of people. And I believe that this person could genuinely be jealous, they could want this many eyes on them. They could want the things that you have, okay? Even if you don't even think that it's that big. Yeah, you guys are being illuminated during this time. And I feel that there's someone here that is extremely frustrated because no matter how hard they try, okay? They, they're trying to fit your role, okay? You are a circle. So you will easily fit. You probably already went through that little hole okay and this person is trying to fucking put themselves in a role and in a position that's not theirs and so of course they're going to be resentful of you because this is the life and the purpose that you're meant to have you are meant to have a big purpose some of you guys are meant to be in the limelight some of you guys have very attractive faces very attractive personalities whatever you attract a lot of people and attract a lot of opportunities for you for yourself you are a very privileged person okay and that is the role in the life that you're meant to live this incarnation and their incarnation i don't i don't ever want to say that anyone's meant to live having poverty or whatever but that is what they're dealing with this incarnation and so they're trying to fit that role when energetically they're not even there energetically they feel poor which is why they have to go out and steal stealing is a very low vibrational thing to do of course i'm not saying that you are low vibrational for stealing but you steal because there's lack that's why you're stealing for the most part i don't need anyone to try to freaking argue with me and people always try to argue but yeah so <laughs> you guys are in completely different energies okay this could be someone from your past this could be someone, an enemy of a past life or from a past life. And I'm sorry to say that, but that's really what I'm seeing. An enemy from a past life as well. That could be 
coming back into your life. This is someone here that's um, coming into your life to create pain and frustration for you and possibly to create distractions, okay? Definitely do not allow... Look, I literally said that and this disruption card came out. Swear to God. Disruption. They want to disrupt whatever you got going on. If they can't have parts in it, they want... If I can't have you, no one can. <laughs> or if I can't have this, no one can. So this person, there's a lot of pain that they're dealing with, okay? And they want people to share that pain with them. They don't want to be the only one. They don't want to be the only one stuck in some sort of situation. So I just feel like once you guys see certain people, and I understand you guys could empathize with a lot of people. You could be very empathetic with people. But you have to understand that if people, they, they could, this person could reflect or they could be in the same cycle that they've been in. When you could have been in the cycle, you could have been very frustrated. You could have not been meeting your role in your position. You have to understand that these people are meant to test you, to see if you are in an energetic vibrational match with them. And you do not vibrate at the same level as them anymore. So when you see people that have this energy all they're going to do is steal your energy and pull you down and drain you because if they have nothing to give and this is a relationship relationships are based off of um, reciprocation if they have nothing to give then there is no reciprocation so all they're doing is taking and that is stealing and that's what they're coming in to do okay so if you're around people who are drained who are depressed who are I, whatever they're going through and it's very negative and it's negative to the point where they're low-key projecting onto you and you low you feel that shit remove yourself do not feel empathetic do not feel bad about their situation because half the time these motherfuckers it's their karma it this is what this is what they're paying for okay so we have ghost coming out probably what you guys are going to end up doing <laughs> probably what you guys should do look ghost and protection open this up to protection protect yourselves guys this is the main message if you made it to this point comment a lock and a key down below i love every single last one of you guys for showing love and look the disruption card came out again <laughs> so i appreciate all of you guys for showing love i'm gonna see you guys in another video if you'd like a personalized reading with me all that information is in the description box see you guys another time bye